It's our canvas. Yeah, exactly. It needs a little something. <laughs> yeah. Annika Ray is a paint dancer. Let's meet her now. Enjoy. It's already art. This dance, these moves. No need for anything else. But if you want it, like if you really had the desire to maybe make this a little more colorful, I guess she could add a little paint. Annika Rea, dancer, designer, human paintbrush. An artist whose body of work is literally her body of work. And today we step inside her studio in Queens for a bit of a chat and some dance painting. So what came first, dancing or painting? Ooh, both. I was uh, put in dance classes starting when I was three years old. I was put in ballet and then I was always painting as well. If I was home, I was either finger painting or crafting or, or using my hands and they both kind of came up at the same time, but I did take dance more seriously. It's funny now just even talking to you, you are currently dancing. I guess my hands just do what they want to do. They just go for it. Growing up, the parallels of painting and dancing together, how did that work? I had a series of dance injuries, which was, you know, each one I think of as a blessing because it pushed me on a different path and which led me here. So I needed to find something else and I would use the canvas and I would choreograph and I would imagine these little tiny dancers pushing along the paint and pushing along the paint and turning and pushing along the paint. That was really fun to see myself like push out a piece of work and then have it on the wall. Because the thing about dance is it's, it's uh, beautiful but it's fleeting. But the nice thing about what I do, it's the imprint of the dance. It's the imprint of the moment that can then live on in a new way. When you watch an artist paint, it's interesting. But when we watch you paint, that's a huge aspect of the art itself. You're moving your body and you're like, wow, okay, that's how she's doing this. Oh, that's really cool the way she's dancing like that. Mm. So there's a lot to it, a lot more to it. Mm, yeah, I, got, I call it, well, I'm a process-based artist. Yeah. Um, and I, I also say that I'm a painter that can't sit still. <laughs> I wanted to blend into the canvas. So I started wearing full body suits that are the color of, of the canvas. I would wear them and then at the end, it would be this, and on this purpose, is what I would this look is like. What it would just, this uh, is effect. just what it looks like, right. not on purpose. This is what happens. This is what happens, yeah. This is the effect. This oh, is wow. the natural effect. Sploosh jacket. That's a sploosh, yeah, it's a... Sploosh apparel. Do you think you fit in one of those outfits? The men who, who wear these bodysuits um, are very fit and... and really? They, yeah. Because I'm not. Reach out to yes. Let me tell you something, there's so much and so little happening right now. Seeing your art on me. Mm -hmm. What are your emotions right now? I think it's great. You think so? Uh, yeah, I think, well, you know, it's at this particular time, it's just a little comical because you, it's a little, you know. You think this is comical? Only because you can't zip it up quite. <laughs> when you're looking at a blank canvas, do you know what the piece is gonna look like prior or is this totally flowing like improv? The thing that I plan is the color palette. So I have to uh, use color theory and kind of the science of color to figure out how to blend the paints and what order to use it. I always do a little palette. This is the one that we're going to uh, have for today. Because that that's crucial. How they mix together is everything. Yes. You are a human paintbrush. I am a human paintbrush. Are the fingertips one way and then like the foot is another way? Absolutely. So I've learned how to not only manipulate the paints in terms of the alchemy of the paint, to create different effects, whether it's dripping. And I like to, like the line work, I have specific, if I want five couple lines, right. I pick it up like this and it drips through here. If I want one singular line. Um, and so each of my body parts kind of creates a different effect. Do you constantly have paint on your fingers at all times? Um, you know. <laughs> Is there any point in life? I would say like 16% of the time. Yeah. All of these are large scale, Painting, um, always painting side rolled out so the paint doesn't fold in. Do you do one type of dance in when you're painting or is it different types of dance? 
It depends on the music. It, I was gonna say, does it depend on the music? It depends on the music. When you're listening to rap and painting, is it just a lot of this? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Is this sploosh? Yes. Non sploosh. Yes. And that's what you call it, is splooshing. Yes, because actually sploosh is different than splash. Okay. In, in my made up in your field, world. Right. sploosh is like a like get it dripping and you go, yeah, and it makes like these funky, like I could I'd probably pull it out. I'm gonna have to see it. a difference between splashing, <laughs> splashing and splooshing. Splash and but to be here with Annika and not attempt this type of art for myself would be somewhat of a tragedy. But I didn't want to get any paint on me. Luckily, I brought something. So there's a lesson in expressive flow that I have yes, to do. Yes, yes. And part of it is, once again, accepting who you are and this body you have. Right. And it's really about finding the different ways your body can move through space. Great. Sploosh. Sploosh. Yes. Low sploosh. Low sploosh. Okay. So what music would you like to play today? Something energetic, something fun, something that inspires me. Ah, oh, would you? Yes. What is it? Looks great. It's celebratory. It's, it looks very celebratory. I've never sweat so much in a hazmat suit <laughs> And with my painted hands, I now move on from this story. But looking back on Annika's art, what made it so special for me was the process as well as the product. Watching these pieces come to life with a swipe of her hand or a swoosh of her foot, or sploosh. Each one a piece of her, literally. Her emotions, not just in the paint she chooses, but in the forms her body makes. The angry, or joyful, the serene, and excited, all of which come together to form the many colors of Annika Rhea. character in the tri-state area there, Annika Rea, right there in Queens. Um, we, I think we have her Instagram. Um, we could pop it up. If we have, yep, there it is right there. Uh, or, or, and her Instagram and her website right there, Annika Rea. You know, she does commission work as well. Uh, it's a really cool process. So if you're looking to do something for your home office, whatever it is, uh, you can talk to your contact her right there on the screen. You can see her um, and also post it on Instagram right. a little bit as well.